Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is episode 17 of Captivating, the Adobe Captivate podcast. You've just created your masterpiece. Now what do you do with it? You need to publish it. And in this episode, we're going to talk about all the different publish options you have and how to get your piece seen by the world. Let's get going. All right, we've got our project finished. We're happy with it. Now we want to get it out to the world. So let's go to Publish. That brings up the Publish dialog box. And one of the first things we want to do is make sure that our project is named. So in this case, I have it called ASTD Demo. And then you need to set a location for where you want that project to go. And we'll leave it there for right now. If not, you could browse and set up a different location. You can also publish it to a folder. What that does is it publishes your entire project to a folder, keeping everything, all of the assets together. We'll leave that turned on. You can always turn that off if you want to go to a different directory. Some of the other output options are you can zip the files. Uh, this is used when you're doing uh, AICC or SCORM files, as well as if you just want to send somebody the whole file in a zip format. You can export to HTML, which I recommend you leave on. Even if you're not using the HTML, you may need it for something else later on. You can publish it into full screen mode. This would overwrite your current project settings and try to publish it as big as possible. You can also generate an auto run for a CD. So let's say, for example, you are generating a CD. The auto run will allow it to run automatically once you put it into the drive. Another nice feature is you can export your file, your Captivate piece, to a PDF. Now with the new uh, PDF 9, or I'm sorry, Acrobat Professional 9, you can actually run a Captivate file or any kind of flash file embedded right within the Captivate. So this allows you to send PDF files that have built-in Captivates right in there. Uh, really nice feature, and it's, uh, it's pretty powerful, and it's a good way to get maybe a small piece out to somebody uh, and make it very accessible to just about everybody. Now, Captivate 4 allows you to export to all the different Flash player types, starting with 7 and going all the way to Flash 10. Uh, if you're a conservative company moving very slowly, you're probably on Flash player 7. If you're avant-garde onto the latest technology, you're probably on Flash 10. A lot of companies tend to be on Flash 8 or 9. So we'll just leave it at 8 for right now. On the right-hand side, we have the following options. Some of these we can change, some we can't. For example, our audio quality. If I don't like what I'm seeing here, I can click, and that opens up the audio dialog preferences box, and I can change my sampling rates, my bit rate, and all of that. We'll just say we're happy with that, and I'll say cancel. Um, we can show, uh, we can ha have accessibility turned on or off, that's going to allow for closed captioning, and uh, that also has to be enabled with the skin, which we're seeing over here. So when we click on the skin, this brings up the skin editor. And right now this project doesn't have a skin. If I turn the skin on, now you'll notice we now have a default bar, which is also called the skin. In this case, I'm going to turn it off because this particular project doesn't have a skin. I'll hit Escape. And again, we can also choose the type of action script that this Captivate project will conform to. And it's either going to be Action Script 2 or Action Script 3. Uh, we recommend 2 right now, um, unless you're sure you have Action Script 3 components available. 2 is probably a safe bet. We can also go to our file preferences here. And this brings up all of our preferences for the project. So we can change them here as we go right before we publish. That pretty much discusses publishing. Let's publish this just to see what it looks like. We'll say yes. Captivate will go through all of the files and it'll publish it. It's pretty quick. So right now it's processing all of the slides. Notice it's about here, it's going through. And once it's done, it will allow us to view our output or to close. So we're almost there. 
and we're done. So let's say we want to view our output. I'm Nancy Jones, your guide on this journey into the world of ethics, the world of doing the right thing. And we'll leave it at that. Anyway, that's your introduction into publishing. For Captivating, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to captivating at relate.com. See you next time.